Where's the Ramsey Show? All right, guys, the Ramsey Show. Come on down and watch the Ramsey Show. Hey, guys, check out the Ramsey Show. The Ramsey Show. Thanks for joining us here on this Friday morning. I'm Cooper. And I'm Lila. This week's Ramsey Show includes the Rams update with Mikkel and Scott. An interview with Mr. Argan Singer, a PSA on the field trip expectations, and how to tie your shoes in two seconds. But first, the question of the week. What are your plans for spring break? Do you have any plans for spring break? Yes, I do. We are going to Tucson, Arizona. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. Amy, what are you doing on spring break? Teen Venture with Lila. <laughs> I'm going to be sleeping in my bed. Lila, what are you doing for spring break? Um, I'm going to Air Max Trampoline with Amy and Brunswick Zone and the Wild Game. Do you have any spring break plans? Yes, I'm planning on Monday and Tuesday to save the world. Wednesday, I think I'm going to take a day off. Thursday, play with my kids. Friday, I don't know, another day Fantasy. off sounds great. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for spring break, Scott? I'm going to Costa Rica! What are your spring break plans? A fabulous hour and a half massage. Thanks for the answers, Ramsey. And now over to Yoshi for the interview. Hello, this is another Ramsey interview. And we're here with? I'm Mr. Argetsinger, or Paul Argetsinger. So, let's get started. So what do you do here at Ramsey? I am an eighth grade math teacher. I've also coached uh, volleyball, and unfortunately, we don't have a softball team this year, but I've been doing that as well. How long have you been teaching? Uh, I've been teaching, I feel like it's been like 15 years. Uh, I've been here seven years at Ramsey. What was your best moment in your career? Uh, some of the best moments in my career are definitely when you see those students that come back and, and they come and say hi, and, and every once in a while you, you look at them and you ask how they're going because they, they had a little bit rough when you're here at Ramsey, and, and they go, Mr. Argerson, I'm doing great. What was your favorite class in middle school? Favorite class? One of my favorite classes was actually history. Um, I think it was eighth grade history class, and they did some things that were kind of fun in there. Um, and just I really enjoyed it, just the way the teacher presented it and some of the activities we did. Uh, so what did you major in and why? Ended up switching to a math major and eventually um, uh, computer science. I got a computer science minor. Coaching minor, and then ultimately it was uh, teaching, so second education math teaching at UND. Nice. So, what's your favorite dog breed? Favorite dog breed? Um, I don't have a German Shepherd right now. I've got a Beagle and a Brittany Border Collie mix one, but so we got two dogs. Uh, but I'd say I have to say German Shepherd. Movies. Mm -hmm. What movie deserves a sequel? Oh, you know, my favorite movie is The Princess Bride. I think it's, and it's got everything. Even at the intro, you know, it tells you that it's got everything. And I don't believe there's a sequel to The Princess Bride, but that would be, that'd be a great one to have a sequel to. All right. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much. Back to you, Ramsey Show. Thanks, Mr. Arkansinger. Now for the Rams update. Hello, Ramsey Middle School. This is Mr. Gilmer, athletic director, the co-athletic director. Um, uh, we're still taking out applicants for um, track, baseball, and badminton. So get your forms in after spring break. We're still taking people. Come out, be involved, get involved after school in sports or in their after school programming. Please come. See you there. Bye-bye. Thanks for the information. Mr. Gilmer. Now let's see how to tie your shoes in two seconds. Welcome to the how-to segment, and I'm going to teach you how to tie your shoes in two seconds. <laughs> you got to say it. The right hand, the lace should be over the thumb. The left hand, the lace should be over your index finger. You want to cross the two that are like away from you and pull them together. <laughs> she did her slow. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Now let's see what our field trip expectations are. Hello. I'm Mr. Freeman, and I'm here for an APSA, Assistant Principal Service Announcement. Mr. Freeman, do yes. we have to stay with our foundations all day? Great question. In the morning, uh, we will have foundations for about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours until uh, the buses actually come. Um, that is the only time you need to stay with your foundations. Okay. Once we get to where we 
uh, are going for our different trips, you will be able to um, go hang out with your friends from different foundations. But uh, once you get to the location, you can split up and hang out with your, your, with your friends. What should we bring on the trip? Great question. Thank you for asking. Um, sixth graders, we are telling you to leave your electronics at school. Okay? Um, water can obviously damage and ruin your electronics. Um, and also, there's not a place to store them. So keep your electronics here at school. Um, also, backpacks for everyone. Um, leave those in your locker as well. Okay? And then, uh, seventh and eighth graders, if you choose to bring a uh, a jacket or a phone or an iPod or what have you, bring that at your own risk. Um, so please be careful and, not, and, and mindful of that. I, it would probably be a smart thing to leave everything here, but if you choose to bring it, again, you're bringing it at your own risk. What are the behavior expectations for the field trip? Yes, behavior expectations for the field trip um, are as follows. We, we expect all of our students, our Ramsey students, to behave um, as we behave in school, in terms of um, following uh, the Ram the Ramsey way, right? Being respectful, academic, motivated, and safe. Okay, we're going outside of our school. Okay, so we are guests entering someone else's space. So we're we'll we're to be respectful of that space at all times, and uh, and also respectful of each other in that space as well. So that means um, we're 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 acting appropriately. We're not doing anything to cause harm to each other or the building or the spaces that we're going to, and that we're uh, we're punctual, we're on time, and uh, and we're not doing anything that would uh, jeopardize uh, our reputation or your family's reputation. What happens if we don't follow the Ramsey's way? Good question. If uh, you do not meet uh, the expectations that we put on all of our students as Ramsey students, be you know, acting the Ramsey way, um, you will potentially no longer be allowed to go and participate in all of our um, whole school-wide activity. That, that means our dances, that means other field trips um, that we plan on going on this year. You will not be able to participate in those activities. What happens if you're coming to school tomorrow but you don't go on the field trip? Good question. For those who are coming to school tomorrow and not going on the field trip, um, they will be rotating through, uh, I believe it's four different areas. And uh, throughout the day, they'll, be, they'll start off in the gym, and then they'll, they'll go different places in the, in the building. That means the computer lab, um, like I said, the gym. There'll also be a movie that's playing as well um, towards the end of the day. They'll have lunch as well. So there will be some things for you to do here um, if you are not going on the field trip. This is Mr. Freeman signing off on the APSA. Have a great day, Ramsey Rams. It's your choice. Go Rams. Go Irish. Remember those later today, Ramsey. Now let's see what's going on at Ramsey. Lately, we've been hearing the word gay used a lot. People use it in an immature way. It feels upsetting. We are here to give you some better words. Immature. Weird. Childish. Slow. Ignorant. Irritating. You chose gay? Get a dictionary. Welcome to Flipside. We have Mr. Lutz here with us. He won the coin drive contest collection for getting the most coins collected. $13 and I think it was like 56 cents. Mr. Bailey was second and running, but he lost. He was down by 30 cents. So you can see everyone here is super excited for this. All of the proceeds will be donated to free the children, which will then get um, dispersed into maybe another country to build a school or for um, any educational supplies. Okay? So Ms. Tweeton here is going to pie Mr. Luz in the face. All right. Ready? <laughs> Let's count down. Three, two, one. Hey, go. Mr. Lutz. Hey, 
YouTube video. <laughs> How is that? Oh man. How did it feel? Delicious. Delicious. Yay! Delicious. Woo! Jovan, you're wasting time. <laughs> Last one. Look at the focus. Um, I just learned how to use. Nice. George just got it. You got a minute to stack. Come on. We slide five dice on top of each other. Goodness, Ailer, she's got it. There, I got you. Oh. Mr. Johnson, winner. Got it. Can I do that? Stack up. Get the packets. There you go. I just wonder. Excellent. Go. Oh. Nice. Can you stack more? Five, six, seven. Oh, that was pretty good. Thanks for watching the Ramsey Show. I'm Lila, and I'm Cooper. From all of us here at the Ramsey Show, stay classy, Ramsey. And have a nice spring break. But mostly stay classy, Ramsey. A nice spring break. Because that's my thing. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> and then I also did some time, uh, like prison sentence, it's not actually, but no, I did some time at uh, Minnesota State University, Mankato, where I did some grad work. Do you have any spring break plans? I have some spring break plans. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. This is Marcus Freeman. It's a loot, you still got pie in your ear. Would you get something to eat? Both of them. Look at that splatter. And now let's see what. No. What? I have something to say. What? Remember those later today, Ramsey. No. Amy, you gotta shut the camera off. Then what do I say?